Hi guys, it's Tirth here from Draw Daily. How are you guys doing? It's been a while. It's been a long time actually, and you know, I've been um, all over the place. I've not been able to make a video for you guys. Um, I, I've graduated this year, and you know, I started to work on my own. So you know, it's yeah. <laughs> long story short, I'm back, and you know, I am going to make a video today, and I'm going to share with you guys uh, three basic shapes that will help you to improve your uh, drawing skills and you know help you to fasten your process of uh, learning to draw so uh, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple so yeah here we go first one is a it's a square you probably guessed it it's a square yes it's a square and the second one is a, a triangle and the third one is uh, circle now mine looks like an oval a little bit like neg but um, it's supposed to be a circle so yeah <laughs> these are the three basic shapes that you will need to practice a lot if you're like uh, if you want to improve your drawing skills and if you're if you're like a beginner then uh, this is the place to begin it with because you know you need to improve your hand-eye coordination your grip with the pencil your patience and uh, so I'm just gonna quickly show you an exercise which you can do uh, you know uh, at your own time and you know you can help eventually it'll do wonders for you so so why these three shapes basically because square triangle and circles are used everywhere you know you, these are the three shapes and you know um, they are going to help you in uh, for example let's say let's just look at an example uh, a square maybe when you're drawing a, you know like a house you know, I'm going pretty rapid with this, so don't judge my drawing skills as of now. <laughs> um, and maybe with a triangle, you can make a pizza slice. So once you have once you have made yourself able to draw these shapes freehand, you can you can explore the possibilities yourself, and you can make a lot of things with these shapes. So maybe for a circle, we can make. Well, the simplest that we use, we all use, is a smiley. You know, it's a circle. It's a yellow circle with just, you know, a curve, a smiling face, which symbolizes smiling face. So, uh, yeah, that's just the graphical representation of it. But there's also many things that you'd be using it in. Like, let's say a circle is also used, uh, you know, when you're making a human face. So, to study and understand the basic anatomy of the face, um, you're going to need to use the circle and a combination of the triangle and the square. So eventually you're going to use these shapes in, you know, and the variations of these shapes in at, at various places. So what I suggest you do is you start to train your hand, right? So one way to do it is, you know, just take a blank piece of paper, grab a pencil. It doesn't matter at this point which pencil you grab, but preferably a 2B pencil and just mess it up. You know, just like go crazy on this paper because this is not your final artwork. This is just like make a square, for example, a freehand square. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then just keep going over it. I might be going a little bit faster because, you know, it's just come with time now. But uh, when you are starting out, it will be slightly slower for you. But don't worry. It's just, you know, the we all start at some point and you have to. And um, your hand might be a little bit rigid. Your your lines might come out to be too strong or too too dark. Don't worry about it, because eventually you'll learn to control the pressure of the pencil. You know, you'll grow more sensitive towards it, and um, it'll be great. It'll all fall into right place. Just give it time. Keep doing this. You know, just. Practice your squares. If you're comfortable drawing it the one side, go the other way around and, you know, probably go this way. And just because I say a square, I don't necessarily mean a square per se. You can also try rectangles. You know, there's no restrictions. This is your practice page. And, you know, because uh, basically what I'm trying to say is you're going to use these kind of shapes when you're, when you're drawing other complex things. So this is just the simple shapes that if you learn to draw, you know, you, you do better. 
and then the triangle comes and you know it same same old process you keep going over it you mess up the entire page make sure you fill up the entire page you know you just keep going over it this is also like the warm exercise but this one is uh, slightly more serious in terms of you know you're trying to learn a shape it has to look like a triangle when you're making a triangle it has to be free hand so you putting your you know your self to a challenge if you're a beginner and then you can try variations in sizes because it may be easier for you to maybe draw a bigger one but then it's slightly difficult to draw a smaller one or the other way around depends on um, where you're starting it from but eventually it's all about practice you you just need to practice it and it's just going to you know so I had something drawn on this page <laughs> um, yeah so I was saying it's all about practice and you know eventually all the things are going to come together and you will feel this this whole sync within you that you're synced with your pencil and with your hand and you know your brain is finally drawing things that you wanted to draw after you go through these rigorous exercises you know you put yourself to the drills so yeah the circle so this is a little tricky because you know you can't like drawing a circle freehand is a little uh, challenging in the beginning so what you do is you just grab your pencil you uh, let your hand be free you know let it be a little bit loose don't be too strong within your arm and then just um, you know as if you're just gliding over the paper don't touch the surface of the paper until you're ready to and then you just you kind of just make contact and whoosh, you, know, you do that thing you know, and then ah, a circle is going to appear somewhere magically <laughs> and you'll be like wow i don't, can't believe i did that so uh probably in the beginning it's going to be a little frustrating because it's not going to be like uh, nowhere close to what you have in your mind but eventually with practice and with time and with dedication um, all those valuable words and your efforts you're going to put it into the right place and you know things are going to go in the right direction for you you'll see results and so again with the circle also it's the same procedure just you know fill up the entire page don't worry about messing the page up it's already messed up you know just have fun the whole idea of this exercise is to mess, mess the page up so might as well have fun while you're doing it and again go the other way around go this way go that way go everywhere you can just make a circle keep going in circles well wow, that's apt <laughs> keep going in circles while you make circles something like that um, so yeah and uh, what I recommend you do is you know you probably give this like so you, you give it like 10-20 uh, minutes a day you know on a regular basis you, you practice it before you go to sleep or uh, any time that you find is convenient maybe when you're commuting in the train by the train or come back from work or something like that you can you can find it out yourself figure it out yourself but what I'm trying to say is you know you practice these guys you, know, you practice your circles your triangles and your, uh, your squares and yeah i got that right yeah and <laughs> eventually you'll be able to use these shapes in you know a lot of you know the the more complex sort of drawings that you'll be doing again going back to the gym reference when you go to the gym you have to do your warm-up you have to do your basics you know your basic exercises your body weight exercises and then you you know you get used to the machines and you know you can do the heavier stuff and you know eventually it all falls into place it's process it's not going to happen overnight but uh Stick to it, have fun with it, and if you're really dedicated about learning to draw and you know um, want to make your own stuff, then eventually it will all pay off. So yeah, have fun. I'm just reaching ten minutes. I'm just gonna talk for like what seven more seconds. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this exercise helps. Um, these are the three basic shapes that you need to draw you know to be uh, freehand especially if you want to improve your drawing skills eventually and uh, I hope you guys like it I hope you find it useful um, yeah please do like share and subscribe uh, if you like what I do here I 
hope to be making a lot more videos regularly this time so i'll be back with another one real soon and uh, see you guys till then and if there's anything you please do let me know in the comment section below thanks so much for watching guys uh good night because it's actually night over here so i said good night but it's okay if it's like morning for you then good morning okay i'll just go bye bye <laughs>